Okay, Miss Tesler. Time to figure out who you really are. To Lieutenant Katrina Tesler. That sounds so impersonal. Katrina. When we first met, you helped me through understanding and dealing with my feelings regarding the brain incident on Earth and my family. And I remember you telling me that trauma does not define the person that we are. And I'm here to remind you that, that trauma does not make us the person we are. Remember you saying that we learn a lot about ourselves through how we deal with adversity. You know, it's funny, in Starfleet, there is no perfect first contact. There's always something that makes it interesting. Language, customs, clothing, you know, and, and life is very much like that. Life is like a first contact. We go through thinking that everything is going to be perfect and it's not. There's always going to be some sort of challenge there. And I'm here to tell you that you are too smart and too good of an officer to let any one incident or series of incidents define you. You're too tough. You're too strong of a person. So I hope you feel better. I hope you get better because you are better. Anyways, you know where to find me. This is Captain Anthony Lobato, Raincross, signing off. Lieutenant Tesler, I have heard that you have been injured in an accident. They are informing me that you are healing well and will be able to walk with a cane. I hope that they are treating you well at that facility, but you know that if you need me, just reach out to me. We have uh, often assisted each other in the past. You have been a colleague and a friend. So please reach out if, if there's anything that I can do for you. Please take care of yourself. The Merrill out. Lieutenant Tesla, Katrina. I heard about your accident. I also heard that your leg will not fully heal and that you'll use a cane for the rest of your life. I want you to know that I have great respect for you. I've appreciated everything that you have done for us. And I wanna reach out from my crew and my colleagues that you helped bring us into this strange new world to us coming from a different time period never seeing those in the past that we love and offer our assistance in anything that you can ask for that we can possibly give you you're a good person lieutenant you are an extremely bright and talented counselor. The fleet needs people like you. And this minor setback, and I think it's a minor setback, will just make you stronger in the end. Keep that resolve, keep that brightness within inside you. I know you can do it. From the short time that I have met you, I can see that strength within you. I can see the fire, the desire to excel. You take care, my friend. And if you do need us at any time, please do not hesitate to reach out. Grissom out. Lieutenant, uh, my granddaughter is a friend of yours. She told me that you have recently had an accident and hurt your leg and that you have been told that you may be using a cane for a while, maybe from now on. But I know that you will rise to meet this challenge the way you've risen to meet every challenge you've ever had, with grace, with dignity, with strength, with courage. 
that being what it is, I just wanted to reach out to you and, and, and wish you the best. And since the Mars attacks, you have been a source of strength in my life that I will forever be grateful for. Here I am trying to counsel you, trying to, to, to bolster you up somehow. And I'm talking to the best counselor. You've been a tremendous source of encouragement and support for me and my family for years. So until we meet again, Lieutenant, take care of yourself and keep me in the loop. Let me know how things are going, okay? And if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know. Denson out. Hey kid. I know it's been a while, but uh, I heard what happened. And I'm sorry. It's crazy, you know? In Starfleet, we do the impossible on a daily basis. And uh, it goes to your head sometimes. You start to think that you're invincible. And then something like this happens that reminds you that you're not. And that you're not in as much control as you would like to think. But that's where faith comes in. I know that faith isn't exactly a welcome topic in the Federation. And I couldn't say this to just anybody, but I know that you're a believer. So from me to you, God's going to get you through this. Nothing is ever wasted. He will use this to grow you, to make you stronger, to teach you, so that you can turn around and teach others and be a strength to others, like you were to me. You've got this. I'm here and I'm praying for you and I'm gonna call you about three times a week until you get tired of it. All right, kid. Hang in there, LT. I'll talk to you soon. Mitchell out. Lieutenant Tesler, Commander Leonard here. I just wanted to send you a little message because I heard about the incident that you had. Um, I know that it's gonna be a, a challenge and an adjustment, but all those days back in the academy where we talked about all the things that could happen, this is one of those things that could happen. But the good news is, is you're still alive, you still have your commission, and you still have your friends like me. Uh, the best part of it is that you'll get to keep going. Uh, I know that there were a couple of other people in that shuttle incident that weren't as lucky. So, you know, walk with the cane, walk with the limp, but keep doing what you're doing, Katrina, because the good news is you get to keep doing it. And the next time, we run into each other, I'll make sure that I give you a big hug, just like we talked about in the Academy. And, you know, we'll move forward. So if there's anything you need, feel free to reach out to me. My hailing frequencies are always open for you. Leonard out. Hey, kid. So, I know communication's not my strongest suit, but I heard what happened. I know that things don't always go the way we plan in Starfleet. They don't always go the way we plan in life. And I have to say that you have to keep going. A long time ago, I, I felt like giving up. And I know if I had, my life would have led to a very different place than it has. So many times I felt like I couldn't go on. I couldn't find the strength. I felt like life was squeezing the air out of my lungs and I couldn't breathe. But I pushed through it. You have to do the same. And you're one of the strong people. 
I know you are. I can see it in your eyes. You lift others up around you. You're going to have to do that with Sanders. <laughs> he needs you. I know he does. Don't give up on him. And don't give up on yourself. I see good things in you. Don't forget that. And remember, I'm here if you need. Menard out. Wow. You've been through a lot, kid. I'm sorry. Never let them take the light behind your eyes. And I tell you just what I would say if I could be with you tonight. I would sing you to sing. Never let them take the light behind your eyes. I feel and lose this fight. Never fade in the dark. Just remember. Happy anniversary. Holy cow. Had I had I known that something like this would be possible a year ago, I would have asked you out so much sooner. Let me tell you. Thank you for spending this incredible year with me. And I know it's you. I just I just know it's you. You're my scene partner, not just for Constar, not just for Problem Child, but for this play called Life. Thank you. 
and I love you.